Welcome back, people. I am currently playing Harry Potter on the Philosopher's Stone of the PC version. This is going to be, I don't know, part 12. I don't know. I have a lot of parts um, ready for me to upload. I've, I've only uploaded one at this point. Okay, you get the time. I'm currently in the fire seed caves. Clacking fire seeds for Hargrave because apparently he snapped A we leave the egg alone during this time. Which I guess is I think it is actually true to the books. Well except the fire seed part. Uh. Although I don't know why he sat all this stuff up in the case, but maybe he just went on a drunken cave setup. Okay, this is. I thought there was a card in the last um, video underneath a cool waterfall area, but this is actually where that card is. Okay, here it is. That looks like it's Ravenclaw. I think it's Rowena or Ravenclaw. But I might be wrong, but I don't think I am. No, well, never mind. Morgan Le Fay, medieval, dates unknown, King Arthur's half sister, dark sorceress, enemy of Morlin. See, that's really explain why she has a cow to herself. But we never really learn much about Morlin. From what I remember in the, you know, hey, part of the universe. Okay. That's the cave. That's where we just came from. I don't need that. Yeah, this looks safe. Susie, what would Dumbledore have done if we had found out that Hagrid sent Harry to do something like this? Well, well I guess at this time I've been to school for about a month or so. But you've, you've been watching the walkthrough. I've literally been to three classes. And have, um... And, and that's been the extent of my stay here at Hogwarts. Only one fucking bean? Mm. So there's a lot to... Oh, oh wait. That must be a fire seed plant. Hagrid told me to stay away from the hot seeds. Now that this way I'm going to get another cup of coffee. And you have to wait for these to cool off. Our final seeds also appear in the PS2 edition of... I love that sound. It's like, I don't know if it's, if it's like a fire tracker, but I love that sound. In the PS2 edition, they appear in the PS2 edition of Prison of Azkaban. Where again, you have to wait till they cool down before you pick them up. There are a lot of fun parts of this game to look forward to. The whole reason I got I bought this game again was because um, I watched a playthrough of this game because I was nostalgic for it. I, I lost the disc, you know, the disc key years ago. So I was nostalgic for it. And I watched a playthrough of this game by I might link his profile if I can find it. It's like Hockey, Hockey Stick 1902. It was Hockey something. I don't remember the rest of the guy's name. But he did a playthrough of it. I don't remember if there's commentary. There might have been. But so after that, I decided to get the game again. I love these little hidden places like this. I really do. 
So you have him to think if you enjoy this series. Because if I didn't watch that, I might not have actually gotten this game again. And it, this is a squad of series as any to stop my channel off with. This past year, sounds, it is actually more related to my previous content than any other. Well, I mean, I could have done Shadow Legacy at any Harry Potter game, but it makes no sense to start with, like, the fourth game. <laughs> um then when I have the first game that I can start with. So I'll be uploading like pretty much all the games of those on my channel. I've not yet finished um, Deathly Hallows or even yet started Deathly Hallows Part 2. But from what, I ha what I've done with Deathly Hallows, that might take a while because it's not like the hardest thing I've ever done, but it wasn't it wasn't easy, and it's and I'm not terribly fond of the game, and yet I'm right at the part where you are trying to I guess stand somebody to break into the Ministry of Magic in that game. But I mean, the style of the game changes immensely from the uh, um, game three. To game four. Game four, for one thing, is when the games on the um, console forces and the PC forces started to be the same. Because games one, two, and three are different on the um, console. Actually, the first game was. I don't know if the Chamber of Secrets has a PS1 game. I don't think it does. But I know the first game certainly does have a PS1 game, which is different from the PS2 game. I think the PS2 game is criticized for taking powers from the Chamber of Secrets PS2 game. Which I own oh, is that so rolling? Um, whoa! I prefer fire crabs. Actually that to be honest that's not cool eh, but still. Yeah, that rolling stone's kind of annoying me. I mean, I have other games I like to play on this. I have... It's generic, but I enjoy them. I have, like, some Call of Duty games. I wouldn't mind uploading. Not because... I, I know, I've, you've always seen them before. And if you haven't seen them, it's because you haven't wanted to, and I understand that. I'm not going to be adding anything new to the YouTube community by uploading a play um, a play walkthrough of those games. But I might I think I might actually be one of the few people who plays this games. Not mostly for the action parts. Or the, the combat or how often you want to say that but I, I one thing is I I like the story. I that's it's the reason I watch a lot of different movies um, and play video games, if it not play, at least watch p other people play video games. They have to do with, not if not this top in future, because this not really is happening in Call of Duty. Um, alternative history. I love the Modern Warfare series, because that's just such a fun story. With the ultra-nationalist Russians, I guess. I've been, I, I'm, to be honest, I'm, I've so not quite made the connection. Uh, having some connection to the, I guess, Muslim, um, extreme Islamic group in the game. It's, it's just, I, I like this story. I think it's a fun story. And I know people have criticized the newer Call of Duty games. I can tell you right, blood, you know, I'm not buying. Um, I, think, I think the new ones Advanced Warfare. Coming out this November, I'm not going to be getting that game. I refuse. I will buy a game for nineteen dollars, or for about twenty dollars. I'm not buying a game for sixty. I refuse to do it. I don't care if that means that I'm not getting it for the next four years. But I am not getting. I, I'm not you spending sixty dollars on a bloody game. I I just I I find. That just a ridiculous 
the amount of money to spend on a video game. Now, I'm guessing in the case of Call of Duty, it's, that's really that pricey, not for the single player campaign, but for the multiplayer they provide, and that might be true. But, okay. It's, it's not. Oh, okay. So that's pro so that might explain the price more. But since I don't play online, because frankly, as much I enjoy the single player mode, I'm I'm accept acceptable at the you know at the game. Uh, I AI, but I know I. That would not be good, and I've played with France, you know what not. I, I'm not good at dealing with actual people. Come on. Okay. See, I think you're supposed to go that way, and I'm going to go down here and see what's happening. By the way, this battle is incredibly dark. So I have a bunch of games I would like to, you know, upload. Okay, you can just you can't do anything with those. I have 39 games in my PC. I only plan on uploading. I don't know. I, I there are some games I have that I have no intention of actually uploading. That is where I came from, I think. Yeah, it is. There's so, but there are certain games that I have no intention of on uploading. Some games that I would kind of like to upload, but I don't think I'm good enough at them yet to want me actually picking videos up. One of those cases being, um, the first Borderlands. I, I'm enjoying the game. I have it. I've been playing it. Although it's been, a, to be honest, it's been a while. But I picked the sniper class, Mordecai, I think his name is. And for the life of me, I cannot get past the first major boss fight in that game. I don't remember his name. I don't know what it is, I can't get past the dude. Let's see what Harden has to say. Great work, Harry. You've collected all the fire seeds I need. Here's a wizard card for you, from my own collection. Come on inside, Harry. Wipe your feet now. How do you like the one card I gave him Hardred? It's a size of Slytherin card. He looks so pale in this picture. He almost looks like a Nobino. <sighs> Let's see. Salazar Slytherin, medieval, dates and known, co-founder of Hogwarts, gave his name to one of the four Hogwarts houses. None of the cards for the founders of Hogwarts are extremely interesting. <coughs> it's just out. Now, I think I'll call it crits for now. <sighs> I'll grab another cup of coffee. I might make another video, but to be honest, I am tired. So I just might not. I don't know. I'll see how things work. Regardless, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. I appreciate it.